started flying gliders in 1974 when I was 11 years old, and uh, I soloed in gliders when I was 15 years old. I could have done it at 14, but I'd broken my arm in a bicycle accident. And I got my license when I was 16, and I was licensed in powered airplanes at 17 years old. And I was taking kids from my high school for a ride before I even had a driver's license. I flew sailplanes at uh, Sky Sailing Airport for many years, and in the late 1980s, I decided it was time to own my own sailplane, so I bought an old HP-11 kit sailplane that two guys in Colorado had built in our garage. The important lesson that I learned from that glider is that in the time it took me to drag the HP-11 to the wash rack and get it cleaned off and get the canopy polished, some guy with a European racing sailplane could get his glider out of his trailer, assembled taped and onto the flight line faster than I could wipe the dust off my own glider. And one of the things I, I decided that when I was going to make a kit sailplane, it was going to be much, much easier. So for the HP-24 kit sailplane, um, we have the same kind of assembly as a European racing glider. It takes two main pins to get the wings on. You just put one wing on, put the other wing on, two main pins and the wings are on and, you're, and, and assembled a thumb screw to put the tail on and you're basically ready to fly. One of the essential points of this project is that what we're trying to do is deliver the kind of technology and amenities you get in European racing sailplanes in a kit that anybody can build in their garage.